What is up, everybody? My name is Justin, it's Forever Self Employed, and in today's video, I'm joined with a special guest. I got Mike from All About Pressure Washing here. Mike, how's it going, man? It is going good. We are on site at a job currently, and in today's video, we want to talk to you guys about adding gutter cleaning to your pressure washing business or any other existing business that you have. This video is going to be how to start a gutter cleaning business specifically. So, first and foremost, Mike, why would you want to get into gutter cleaning? Okay, so if you've got an existing business, then adding gutters is just something that is kind of a no brainer. You know, you're gonna be at the property, you're gonna be there, you're gonna be looking at all the different things and you're always looking to upsell, to cross sell, to make more money at every single customer's uh, property. So gutters, pretty much all houses have them. Uh, there's no shortage of uh, gutters out there. There's no shortage of houses. So why would you not just try to upsell? Low cost of entry and uh, it's a great upsell. As far as licensing and insurance goes, Mike, do you need specific licenses or any specific type of insurance in order to perform a gutter cleaning? So really you want to check with your local municipalities on the licensing required because it varies from state to state, from city to city, province to province, uh, all of those things. So definitely you want to check in with your local municipalities to, uh, to determine what you need. Uh, insurance, absolutely. If you're going to be out here, you're a professional company, you're on somebody else's property, you're going to want to have at least general liability uh, insurance and possibly workers comp if you've got people that are working for you. So absolutely, you need both of those. We're going to go take a look at the equipment here in just a second as well as look at a job that's being performed uh, and then maybe we'll walk through some of the pricing aspects of gutter cleaning as well. Do you have a service business that slows down in the winter? You ever get worried about how you're gonna stay busy and make money in the off season? Our Christmas lighting boot camp may be the answer. What's great is if you have a ladder, you're already in business because I know you already have a list of customers that you can call on. We have a ton of information that we've packed into a five day live virtual boot camp. This is gonna teach you everything that you need to learn in order to start your Christmas lighting business or add it on to your existing business. We've got Glenn Jernigan. He is a Christmas lighting expert who did over $15,000 his first season and he's on track to do an excess of $150,000 dollars this season alone and the beautiful thing is the lighting season is 36 days long with five days of breakdown and storage so it's not too late to get started so if you're interested in learning how to install how to advertise how to quote and how to sell as well as get access to the private facebook group and the five-day online boot camp all you have to do is register below all right you guys now mac is doing the gutter cleaning mike can you walk us through some of the equipment that we need in order to perform this service well on a day like today i wish i had an umbrella but uh i don't so the beautiful things about um, gutter cleaning is the equipment needed is, is very minimal and, and pretty inexpensive. Uh, you definitely need to have a ladder or two. Um, you're gonna wanna have multiple size ladders. Uh, initially, when you're starting off, you know, you can go with a 20 foot, a 24 foot. Uh, definitely an extension ladder is uh, gonna be necessary. And then really the only other things that you need are the tools to do the cleanup after you clean out the gutters. Some guys use buckets, five gallon buckets. Uh, we use the, uh, the the trash bags, the paper bags, the landscape bags uh, from the big box stores. They're cheap, they're inexpensive. And uh, where we live, you're able to leave them at the street and you know they can be taken away. Uh, but nine times out of 10, we bring them with us and we, uh, we get rid of them on our own. The other tool that we, uh, or the other thing that we like to have is tarps. We always like to have tarps uh, on all of our trucks, obviously for uh, multiple reasons, but primarily, uh, to catch any of the debris that's coming down. It, it really makes the cleanup a lot faster and always have a blower, you know, whether it's handheld, whether it's backpack, uh, which really helps to expedite the, uh, the process. Now, in some occasions, we use our pressure washer to clear out the gutters. We use them to flush out the downspouts. Um, we can also use our backpack blowers. If, you're, if you've got a, a roof that's safe and walkable, uh, you, can, you can utilize those tools just to kind of speed things up, increase your efficiency, which makes you more profitable in the long run. So that's really it. Um, you know, you wanna have a good pair of heavy duty gloves when you're reaching down into gutters. Uh, you don't wanna cut your hands up uh, and you know, they also protect you from all the guck and the nastiness. Uh, one other thing that we do use on occasion, they're called gutter scoops, and it's just something that you can, uh, it's a plastic tool that looks like a, a really narrow shovel that you can go straight through the, you know, through the gutter, get all the muck out, and dump it into your bag or to your bucket. So really minimal, very inexpensive to get into this business. Okay, Mike, so uh, is it possible to clean gutters from the roof, and is there an instance where you guys would do that specifically? Yeah, anytime that we can clean from the roof, it makes it a lot faster, but it has to be a fairly flat roof, and, uh, and so you're walkable, so you're not safe. We're definitely not gonna get up two stories and do that. If it's a one story, uh, you know, by all means, you can get up there and you can do it a lot safer and a lot more uh, 
quickly because you're not having to move the ladder as much. The ladder movement is what gets really, really uh, time consuming. Um, and so that's also something that you want to consider when you're uh, doing your pricing. Like how big is the house? How many times are you going to have to move the ladder? How intricate is the house? So these are all things that definitely come into play. Mike, tell us a little bit about ladder safety. All right. So ideally you want to have a ladder with the standoffs uh, we don't always have it as you can see right here if i was to leave this uh, in that position and climb up it obviously that's not the best scenario um, it's a little bit unstable uh, so you always want to make sure that your lab your ladders are unbelievably stable that you've got you know secure footing because the last thing you want is obviously a fall from a roof or off the ladder it's actually one of the the number one um safety issues uh in the workforce in America is, is ladder falls. And so that's why we take great precaution. You know, we're always making sure that uh, we're doing the right thing, doing it the right way, and uh, doing it the safest way possible because there's no job that uh, is more valuable than your safety. All right, Mike, so tell me a little bit about pricing and how you go about pricing some of these jobs. What's up, you guys? Editing Justin here. I wanna show you how easy it is to quote gutter cleanings using Quote IQ. So we're gonna come in here and we are gonna type in a customer. Let's see if we have Ronald McDonald in here. We do. Let's go ahead and do a gutter clean out quote for Ronald McDonald. Now that our customer's in here, we can then select the service we wanna give him a quote on, which is gutter cleaning. Gutter cleaning is automatically um, linear footage. A roof cleaning, as you guys can see, is square footage. So we'll set our gutter cleaning Linear footage price at a dollar. You can also set that up in the My Prices section. We'll go ahead and hop into the mapping feature here, which is gonna take us directly to McDonald's. And from here, all we would have to do is measure the side that has the gutters. Let's say that they only had gutters on this drive-through side. So once we have our linear footage measured for our gutter cleaning, we can go ahead and click the check icon. It's then gonna tell us that this McDonald's is exactly 271 linear feet times a dollar is $271. After that, we can click the next button, which is then gonna auto-populate a quote for us. We can also accept payments through here. So if you guys haven't already checked out QuoteIQ, check it out down below. It makes quoting super simple. All right, Mike, we've talked about a lot of the facets of how to start offering this service for yourself. Uh, speak to how you sell the service. Is it an upsell? Is it a standalone? Uh, how do you like to sell it? Right, so uh, nine times out of 10, uh, it is not a standalone, not for my business, uh, simply because you know we, we market um, everything else. We market the house washing, we, we market the roof washing. So those are our primary focuses because they're higher dollar tickets. But gutters are a great add-on service when you're already at the property, when you're there, uh, it's, it's not that much to pull the ladder out throw it up, clean out some gutters, uh, and make more money. And that's ultimately why we're in business, is to be as profitable as possible. And the more services that you can add on, the better. So it's just like anything else. You know, we use Responsibid, and uh, it gives upsells at the end of the process. Uh, gutter cleaning is one of those. That's one of the primary ways that we add on gutter services. When I'm talking to customers on the phone or I'm texting them, you know, I go through the, the normal process of, you know, if they're getting a house wash, uh, I ask them if they'd like to get a quote on their driveway or their roof, things of that nature nature. Uh, if, they, if they say no to those things, then I go to smaller ticket items like gutter cleaning. So those are the primary ways that we uh, are selling the gutter jobs. Uh, you know, it's, it's not our primary focus, uh, but it is a secondary and it can be highly profitable. So it's raining out here. I do want to make one comment with regards to selling. Uh, selling a smaller service that can kind of get your foot in the door with customers is a great way to go, especially if it's lower ticket. So if you want to leverage something like gutter cleaning to your favor, that's a good way to go about it. Advertise for it because oftentimes these lower ticket services are less advertised for, and then you can get your foot in the door and offer bigger tickets like pressure washing. So Mike, every guest that comes on the channel has to pick the word of the day. What do you want the word of the day to be? Mike. The word of the day is Mike. If you made it this far in the video, comment down below Mike and I'll hashtag you a real one. You guys be sure to check out Mike's channel, check out Quote IQ, and uh, until next time, hustle hard and get that money, baby. Peace.